took four years to finalize the design for the Mitti Cool refrigerator. It can keep perishable food cool for up to a week, and it never needs electricity. So don't get your hopes up. That's sold out. Eight thousand, whatever that is. But I really think that this is uh, these evaporative coolers that I make out of my coarse uh, felted wool. I think that they're m much more efficient at cooling than than even this, and it, they're more efficient than a lot of the other ones that I've uh, I've seen. And I haven't seen any that are actually marketed. They're all like zero pots and just regular pot and pot coolers, evaporative coolers using ceramic. But this one, it needs babying and it can break. And it's um, not able to keep things inside much cooler than outside it's 10 to 15 degrees cooler on the inside whereas as mine is on a 100 degree day it's below 70 it's at least twice as good at keeping the insides cool as this company's all right i'm making a second felted wool evaporative cooler for my milk and kefir bottles and this is my cheese cave as you can see it's down to like 58 degrees 59 degrees and it's probably pressing probably pressing 75 degrees out right now it's pretty hot I'm using these wool scraps I love sewing felts together more than any other textile because they're so rigid they just like hold themselves in the I mean look it's lining itself up and I'm not even holding it. It's ready to sew. <laughs> no other fabric does that. The drapier they get, the more frustrating they get to sew by far. By far, felting, felts are the easiest and most enjoyable thing to sew together. I love making clothes out of felt. Little gadgets like this. Back the cooler. All right, now we're gonna straighten them up the side. This is why fingernails are good. So helpful. Picking, picking out knots, picking up the needle. Fingernails are utilitarian. That's another reason I love felted wool. It stretches, it's forgiving. It is, I'm like a quarter inch too small and all I gotta do is this I gotta take out my sweater top Piece. 
sheep. All right, so I got the evaporative cooler done. The new evaporative cooler. But it's uh, it's not done yet. This is just the they, this is just the bare minimum of what's needed to start cooling the contents. Um, this is just a single layer all around, whereas my cheese cave here is double layered all the way around and on the bottom. And then around the bottom, I have a third layer that I attached, and that's because originally I was I was squirting these down on the outside, and so when I would squirt it, the, um, some of the water would be absorbed by that, that third layer and not run off the bottom, so it was a way to conserve the water. And then I realized that it was far more efficient to squirt down the insides, and going around like that and that's all you need to do three times a day for this double walled one but I'm noticing already after just making this new one yesterday that it is not retaining its moisture and and uh, continuing to cool as long as so we got 62 degrees, 62 degrees, and it's probably 90 degrees out. Let's see what the temperature is. I'll leave it out here for, see what the shade temperature is, and then we'll see what the sun temperature is. It's not quite summer yet, it's still spring. Almost 90 degrees. Yeah. Good girl, Mickey. See? Thank you for the milk. Yeah. You silly girl, you got the whole branch on your butt. Good sheep, yeah.